Hello friends, I am Mayuri from VTeach Academy and today we are going to discuss an example under the concept subtraction of matrices. So we are given with the matrices M and S and we need to find M minus S. So in order to find, let us subtract the matrix S from M. So we represent this in the form of M minus S which is equal to and then by subtracting 0 minus 1 we get here minus 1 and then 1 minus of minus 2 which becomes plus 2. So we get 1 plus 2 that is 3 and then 2 minus 0 is 2. And coming to the next row here by subtracting we get the elements as 2, 2 and 5 and in the next row we get 5, 5 and 6 minus 3 which is 3. So in this way we subtract matrix S from M. And now coming to the next one where we have to subtract 4S minus 3M. So in order to subtract first we need to multiply the scalar 4 with the matrix S. Yes. So by multiplying we get 4 into 1 which is 4 and then 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 and then 4 into 0 is 0. And in the next row, by multiplying 4, we get the elements in the form of 0, 4 and minus 4. And the next row would be 4 into minus 1, which is minus 4, 0 and 4 into 3, which is 12. So this is the matrix 4S minus of and now we need to find the matrix 3M. So we need to multiply 3 with the matrix M. So by multiplying the matrix would become 3 into 0 which is 0 and then 3 into 1 is 3 and then 3 into 2 is 6. So this is the first row and then the next row would be 6, 9 and 12 and then the elements in the last row would be 12, 15, 18. And now we need to perform subtraction. So by subtracting we get 4 minus 0 which is 4 again and then minus 8 minus 3 would become minus 11 and then 0 minus 6 which in turn becomes minus 6 and similarly the next rows would be minus 6 minus 5 minus 16 and then here by subtracting we get minus 4 minus 12 which is minus 16 and then 0 minus 15 would be minus 15 and at last 12 minus 18 is minus 6 so this is the matrix for the subtraction 4s minus 3m. So in this way we need to multiply the scalar with the matrix. And now there is one more example where we are given with the matrices a and b and also the condition which is 2x plus a is equal to b and we need to find the matrix x. So the small hint required for this example is in order to find the matrix x we need to transfer a to the right hand side. So that would become 2x is equal to b minus a. And then transferring 2 to the right hand side, we get x equal to 1 by 2 into b minus a. So b minus a is nothing but subtraction of the matrices b and a. So in this way, you can find the matrix x and let me know the solution in the comment section. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos, visit our website, Vidich Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.